Hello, my name is Blanche and today I'm going to show you how to make the miniature old water pump. So let's begin by making the pump stand. For the pump stand, I used a photo paper and I cut it to 21 by 6 cm. I then used a pencil to roll the paper into a cylindrical form. You can also use a different kind of material if you don't have a pencil but I am sure you can find one. So after you roll it, um, you can uh, use a glue or a paste or anything that is strong to keep the rolled paper together. And I also used a masking tape to secure them together and once they are secured you can leave them to dry so once the uh, pump stand is completely dried I then cut another piece of paper or a piece of photo paper into 21 by 3 centimeter and then I applied glue on the first part of the uh, pump body and then I wrap around the smaller sheet around the uh, first part of the pump body. And once you are done rolling, apply glue and then secure it with a tape and let it dry. Now that the pump body is completely uh, dry we can now start putting the layers on the longer side of the pump body so for this one I am using a two millimeter thick photo paper so it's the same as the body part and then I applied glue on the strip of paper I don't know how long is the strip of paper I just um, start wrapping it and then decided when to stop when I was satisfied with the thickness of it. And once you wrap it around, just um, try to adjust it and then uh, do the other one next and then let it completely dry. So the next part that we are going to make is the pump handle and for this one I just drew a template with a piece of paper. So for this one I am using 2mm thick paperboard to trace my template and also I made around, I made two of them so I just traced my paper to the final material and then cut it using a cutting knife um, I think the exacto knife would be really best for this project because it's uh, kind of thick and exacto knife is more flexible or you know you can trace it perfectly so here's now the two items that I cut and then I just glue them together and make sure you put liberal amount of glue so that it will stick um, quite good and then I clip them together to just to make sure that they won't come off when I uh, sand them and once you are done securing them let them dry and I mean really really dry them <laughs> So now that the pump handle are completely dry, you can start sanding them and I'm using just the normal nail file and also a very fine sandpaper. So I'm going to um, just use the uh, nail file for, for, for most of the part and for the part where it gets to curve then I use the other one. So just keep sanding it until you are satisfied 
with how it looks like and if you feel that it's um, nice enough then you can stop um, sanding it and here how it looks like it's not completely done yet but this is how it looks like when you sand the um, paperboard and I will just um, make some few more sanding just to make sure that I am satisfied with how it looks like. Next, we are going to make the pump handle support and for this one, I made another template and then I traced it on the same paperboard um, on the same paperboard, yeah, and then I just um, cut it and I made two of them, but I did not stuck it together so these are just two for the left and the right part and also, this is not the official name, I just called it the uh, pump handle because I don't really know how it's called and then go ahead send them to smoothen the edges and this is how they look like after I send them so remember do not paste them or glue them together they will stay like that and then after sanding them I also drew some line where I want to cut a slit on the pump handle support because this part is going to the side of the pump body and again I'm just using my cutting knife to cut the or to make the slit for the pump handle support So this is how it will go, so it goes from one side and into the other and it, because it, move, um, it looks much nicer if you put a slit on it rather than sticking them directly to the side. Now that I have sanded everything, I'm going to mark a hole on the handle and also on the support and just you know i'm not really measuring it again i'm just bulls eyeing it to make sure or so that they will um, be on the right spot and it's i i don't know why i did that i did not measure but anyway i am using this uh, miniature um, bore i think it's called and I just go ahead and bore it until I get to the other end like so and then I use a piece of wire to clean the hole make sure that it's open and no debris from there and then after that I use um, I bore the uh, handles the two handles together And then do the same thing with the other two um, material. Next, we are going to make the spout. And for this one, I'm just using a regular straw that uh, you can bend. And then I cut it to the desired length and just adjust the straw until I am satisfied with the result and finally I am going to make the last piece or the last part which is the pump uh, platform I don't know if it is called a platform but it is um, the one that gets connected to the ground so I just drew a square and then um, cut it out so it's also not really that big just enough for the uh, pump body to uh, to fit and have a little bit of space on it and then I glued the pump body before I painted 
painted the whole thing. And then I also glued a small wire to the pump handle because this is the one that will bring the water up and but I didn't um, really make a, a lot of detail on this one. As you can see, I have already painted all the parts and I didn't make the video of painting everything because you can choose your um, color. You can have the rusty look or the green look. So there are different colors you can see in the internet for preferences. And for me, I just used a rusty looking color and then I glued everything together. The... Uh, from the body to the handle and then lastly the spout and this is now the final look i hope you enjoy watching the tutorial please leave a message and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much and hope to see you again
this is how it looks like. And now I'm using this grey color. 